everybody, welcome back to another edition here of Monday Night Raw. How are you all doing? My name is Dominic behind the commentary table. And we are live and sold out in Trenton, New Jersey. For the first episode of Raw following the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. And it seems as though we're kicking it off with this man, Seth Rollins. And as Seth Rollins makes his way to the ring, he knows for a fact that he did not burn down the reign of Finn Balor at the pay-per-view. Okay, Seth Rollins, he's coming out here championship-less as Finn Balor defeated him with a trifecta of 1916s in order to retain his universal title. And as I've been told, considering the fact that Seth Rollins is coming out here tonight, he doesn't look ready to fight. He has requested some time to kick off the show to discuss his loss at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view with the crowd in attendance and the people watching at home. As the crowd on their feet, they watch Seth Rollins is even holding his head following that matchup. Well, Seth Rollins stating that Finn Balor, the leader of the club, is scared of him. However, there you see his cronies, Luke Gallows on the right and Carl Anderson on the left, making their way to the ring. Of course, the other two members of the club. And it seems as though they are looking for a fight on behalf of Finn Balor, the leader of the club. As oh god, Seth Rollins, he is not in a good predicament as Luke Gallows just shows off his strength there. Okay, taking down Seth Rollins onto the lower spine, his knee connected before it was Carl Anderson's arm that connected with the chest of Seth. And oh wait a second, speaking of the club, Gallows and Anderson might have just been the warm-up Finn Balor. The Universal Champion is here tonight, and it seems as though he did not particularly like the words coming out of Seth Rollins' mouth either. Rollins, he's just been taken down. He's still getting beaten down in the middle of the ring as Finn Balor, the champion, is looking to add, perhaps, to the beatdown by Anderson and Gallows as the crowd, there you see, joining in Finn Balor's illustrious entrance. But you can still hear it. The boos radiating throughout the arena as Rollins right now. Ooh, getting beaten down. Okay, you didn't quite see it, but trust me, he's just getting his ass kicked right now. As Finn Balor making sure the camera and the spotlight are all on him. As Anderson oh, picks up Rollins. What does he have in mind here? Not too strong. And the Anderson Cutter connects. The Cutter connects and Gallows now. Oh, come on. Come on, not again. Not again. Oh, with the double-handed choke slam as Finn Balor, the leader of the club of this gang, here tonight, just entered the ring as Seth is trying to get up. Still, somehow, Rollins is getting up. He's on one knee, and he stares right into the eyes of Finn Balor before turning his attention over to Gallows Anderson. Oh, God, I think he realizes... 
that he is in there with a pack of dogs. Oh, as he hits Finn Balor with the forearm shot. No, Balor. Oh, God, no, no, no. He didn't particularly like that one, did he? Not in one bit as the 1916 connects. And Finn Balor. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the club. Showing the world exactly who rules Monday Night Raw. And as the Universal Champion, along with his cronies, leave the ring, we must turn our attention to what's happening later on tonight. Okay, we got Shayna Baszler taking on Dakota Kai. And what is set to be one hell of a match. Shayna Baszler, of course, in the Money in the Bank ladder match at the pay-per-view. However... We're also turning our attention towards the main event of the evening. It's going to be Roderick Strong taking on AJ Styles. Of course, the Undisputed Era attacking both AJ and Sheamus before the Money in the Bank ladder match. And AJ is looking to get his revenge here tonight against the Undisputed Era's Roderick Strong. Okay, not entirely sure what that one was all about. Um, well, we saw something similar at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view involving a rabbit. Um, there was some speculation that it could mark the return of Adam Rose's famous bunny partier guy. I guess not. I guess something, someone has weird fascination with animals. Not entirely sure, however, perhaps they'll even have a fascination with mythical beasts. As the Lucha Dragons, that's a segue right there, is set to take on the Undisputed Eras, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. As it seems as though they're going to be accompanied by the current United States Champion, the man who retained his title at Money in the Bank, Adam Cole, of course, defeating Roman Reigns and what was one hell of a match. Okay, we saw Adam Cole really show his true colors there. Okay, showing a lot of cowardly offense. Okay, rolling outside the ring, trying to taunt Roman Reigns, get into the head of Roman Reigns. However, he definitely got into the head of Reigns, and by that I mean he got his knee into the back of the skull of Roman Reigns. However. He's not the main focus in this matchup when it comes to the Undisputed Era. No, it's Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish that we should be turning our attention towards because those two men are booked in this one because of their attacks on AJ Styles and Sheamus that I mentioned just a few moments ago as Kyle O'Reilly takes down Kalisto. Okay, the Lucha Dragons, we last saw them put on an impressive performance as Kyle O'Reilly, oh wait a second, with the palm strikes right to the arms of Kalisto, okay, the Lucha Dragons, last time we saw him, as I was saying, put on an, an impressive performance against the current Raw Tag Team Champions, the War Raiders, so they are no slouches when it comes to in-ring competition as a kick to the stomach connects, oh, however, Kalisto then fires back with a punch to the skull, but... Kyle O'Reilly is trying to fight back here, however, and Insiguri quite out of nowhere connects. What a collision between Kalisto and Kyle O'Reilly as Kalisto now throws Kyle into the corner, makes the tag to Sin Cara, who's now the legal man. Oh, as a kick to the chest, a double kick before. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a maneuver. Okay, lifting up Kalisto and slamming him into Kyle O'Reilly as Sin Cara now using that momentum to perhaps go for a victory here. No, only a two count there as Kyle O'Reilly now gets up. Okay, he's trying to battle through the pain. Goes for 
a palm strike once again. However, he gets met with another Insiguri, this time by Sin Cara. Oh! However, a punch to the face by Sin Cara once again connects on Kyle. Okay, of course, as I was saying, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, they were put into this one as they were the two men that attacked Styles and Sheamus in the Money in the Bank, or before the Money in the Bank ladder match. So tonight, King Booker is looking to punish them in this one, as it seems though Kyle O'Reilly is bringing on the punishment. As Sin Cara gets taken down, and now... Here we go, Kyle O'Reilly. Okay, he loves to do those arm bars as we've seen so much. Oh, in his offense, the arm being a major target for Kyle O'Reilly, taking him down. Okay, submission and tactical specialist. As here we go, the palm strikes again to the elbows, perhaps, before once again hitting the arm bar, as I was just saying a few moments ago. Okay, he loves to dish out that arm bar as here we go, the takedown followed by the palm strikes once again and then once again connecting with the armbar okay Kyle O'Reilly really working over those arms of Sin Cara trying to injure them however this time Sin Cara gets out of it on his own with those punches to the face and here we go Sin Cara trying to fire back but Kyle O'Reilly stopping him dead in his tracks throwing him into the corner there Bobby Fish gets tagged in and now we move on from the tactical. Kyle O'Reilly, oh, to the savage submission specialist in Bobby Fish. Okay, Adam Cole, of course, watching on at ringside, the United States champion. Oh, watches as Bobby Fish hits a big kick to the back of Sin Cara. Okay, the original trio of the Undisputed Era. Here tonight on display as Sin Cara landing those punches before, oh, showing his agility off here tonight. Okay, his athleticism being put on display. Oh, but it was Bobby Fish that fires back, leaping up into that forearm strike. Oh, before hitting a kick to the lower spine. Bobby Fish now having complete control once again, or perhaps not Sin Cara trying to fire back. Takes him down. Oh, and he lands with an uppercut. European uppercut connects. Before working over the arm once again on um, Bobby Fish. As Kalisto gets tagged in. Kalisto, what in the hell does he have in mind? Not too sure. Goes up to the top rope. A big splash. Oh, no. Bobby Fish getting the knees up at the last possible moment. And now he throws him across the ring, ducks underneath. Kalisto not looking too good now, and Bobby Fish takes him down. Here we go, our opening matchup for Monday Night Raw, and these two teams are brutalizing each other. But Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly seem to have the upper hand right now. Oh, with that DDT. And then slingshot there, connecting on Kalisto as Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, wait a second. Taking a few moments for himself. But that might just cost him as Kalisto makes the hot tag and Sin Cara's on fire right now. Goes to stop him again. However, Kyle O'Reilly trying to stop that hot tag, that fiery offense by Sin Cara. Okay, he's trying to stop it. However, I don't think he can stop Sin Cara right now. Ducks underneath. Oh, with a pitch perfect drop kick. A pitch perfect drop drop kick connecting by Sin Cara as the stomps connect however Kyle O'Reilly still trying to fight back here with the combination of strikes you know here we go we saw this a few moments ago takes him down with the leg sweep Kyle O'Reilly a masterful pro wrestler as you can see right now okay his offense can come out of literally nowhere as Kyle oh goes for a kick but he gets caught and Sin Cara hits him with a European uppercut. And now he turns his attention towards Bobby Fish. And what does he have in mind? What is this? Oh, God, dropping him onto the floor with that powerbomb. That slingshot powerbomb there. However, 
Kyle O'Reilly using those precious moments to perhaps turn this into a 1-2-3 count right now. 1-2. No, and I believe Kalisto might have just saved him there. And now it seems as though all hell's broken loose as Kalisto connects with the Huracan Rana. And now Sin Cara perhaps looks to get that job done right now. Okay, he goes to grab the arm, however. Kyle O'Reilly trying to fire back, trying to fight back here with those punches right to the stomach of Sin Cara before the palm strike again connects to the side of the head. And then once again with the elbow shot. Oh, as he catches him there with the knee to the gut. Sin Cara is not looking too good. He really needs to make the tag towards Kalisto. Oh, if he can somehow get out of this onslaught by Kyle O'Reilly. As Sin Cara, he's trying his best to get up. Okay, he's trying to crawl away somehow, but he realizes that he's got nowhere to go. Okay, you got Bobby Fish, and you got Adam Cole on the outside. As, oh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, and then connects there. Okay, that sweep followed by that knee to the skull of Sin Cara. One, two, three, and it's over. The Undisputed Era once again. Showing why they are perhaps the best tag team on Monday Night Raw. Well, be behind the War Raiders, of course, the current champions. Kalisto and Sin Cara. Okay, they tried their damnness. Okay, they showed us some impressive tag team maneuvering. However, for most of this matchup, Fish and O'Reilly definitely seem to dominate as there you see that DDT kicking him up. Bam! Trademark Undisputed Era. And speaking of Trademark Undisputed Era, you can hear the music because it was this move that gave us this trademark music of victory by the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole, the leader. There you see him. The United States Champion. Alongside the winners of this one, Bobby Fish. And Kyle O'Reilly, Roderick Strong, will he be able to replicate this success and continue the winning ways of the Undisputed Era? We'll find out later on tonight. Okay, well, Rey Mysterio apparently thinking to himself that he has gotten weaker with age following a handful of losses over the, what some might say, next generation of talented professional wrestlers as Shayna Baszler has also met the cruel hand of defeat. Okay, at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, kicking off the show, attacking the Raw Women's Champion Asuka to kick off the Money in the Bank ladder match. Shayna Baszler came out spilling out into the arena alongside the champion. And there you see her. Okay, she is very frustrated at that loss. She is saddened and right now she is looking to take out those frustrations on Dakota Kai. But is Shayna Baszler truly 100% following that ladder match? Think about it. Okay, she was sent through the steel ladder by a soaring Asuka. Okay, Asuka jumping off the top rope and then crashing down 
onto Shayna Baszler through the ladder bridge. Okay, Shayna Baszler, she's coming in in this one. Not 100% as Dakota Kai is making her way to the ring knowing that she did not have to struggle through the pain and misery of the Money in the Bank ladder match, okay? Shayna Baszler, she went through that hard-hitting six-woman fight. However, Dakota Kai, she lost her chance to be in that Money in the Bank ladder match. So tonight, she's coming in fresh. She's not coming in with those battle scars. Losing to Tony Storm on the go-home show for Money in the Bank in order to lose that chance at being in that ladder match. As Dakota Kai now, she's set for action against the Queen of Spades. Will Dakota Kai finally get a victory? Or will she suffer the fate of Shayna Baszler? We'll find that out right now. The bell has rung. Let's get into it as a forearm strike connects by Dakota Kai. However, Shayna goes to fire back with a maneuver of her own. Oh, but it's now Dakota Kai who's firing back with the big strikes there. The kicks, of course, the captain of team kick. Showing why she is just that with the boot connecting with the face of Shayna Baszler. And now, again, with the kicks right to the head. Oh, but goes for another kick. This time gets caught by Shayna Baszler, former SmackDown Women's Champion. However, it's not her who gets caught by Dakota Kai as Shayna Baszler gets slammed down there. And now Dakota Kai is feeling it here tonight. Looking to continue the onslaught as the Insiguri connects the running Insiguri, bouncing off the ropes before slamming her foot into the head once again. And now here we go with the kicks again to the face. Goes for the cover now. One, two, no, and only a two count. Getting the rope break does Shayna Baszler. However, the referee couldn't see it from the positioning that he was in as Dakota Kai adjusts her positioning to launch Shayna Baszler onto the top rope here on Monday Night Raw. And Shayna Baszler moves out to the outside of the ring, realizing now perhaps that she truly isn't 100%. Okay, she is coming in to this one with a lot of battle scars. And perhaps she's not entirely focused on Dakota Kai. Perhaps she's starting to think, hey, I did lose that money in the bank. Perhaps I could lose in this one against Dakota Kai. However, Dakota Kai looking to make that statement true. However, Shayna Baszler now fires back and now slams her down. And perhaps moving to the outside was the best thing for her. Okay, trying to strategize with that slam taking her down as Shayna Baszler goes after Dakota Kai. After Dakota Kai again fires back with a kick right to the back of the leg. And now with the punches to the back of the head over and over again with the punches. And Dakota Kai continuing the onslaught. However, Shayna Baszler catches her foot that time. And it seems as though Dakota Kai is catching the knees of Shayna Baszler. Oh, and then another knee for good measure. And Dakota Kai now not looking too good. Shayna Baszler finally getting into it, it feels like. Grabbing Dakota Kai suplex position. Oh, but Kai reverses. Dakota Kai reverses as the punch of the back of the head connects. Bringing Shayna Baszler up onto the top turnbuckle. As now, oh, wait a second. Dakota Kai, she's got her here. Back suplex off the top turnbuckle. And both women come crashing down onto the mat middle of the ring. Dakota Kai might have it here. One, two, no, and only a two count once again. However, Shayna Baszler, oh my god, trying to battle through the pain just like she's been doing this entire match. However, Dakota Kai looking to bring the pain with that punch to the stomach. Throwing Shayna into the corner. And now... She turns her around. What exactly does she have in mind here? Oh, with the boot to the skull. And Dakota Kai continuing the offense. That running big boot into the corner. And now she's looking at Shayna Baszler. She could be thinking, 
that she might have it here. Kicks her in the stomach. Oh, wait a second. She gets caught, though, as now Shayna Baszler catches her. Oh, slams her down there with that gut wrench suplex. And now it looks like that signature Shayna Baszler double suplex connecting two. No, and only a two count. Okay, lifting Dakota Kai, showing off that strength, that raw power as Dakota Kai, she's still trying to fight back. She's realizing Shayna Baszler might be gaining some momentum. Oh, and it looks like that's exactly what she's doing with that forearm shot as Shayna Baszler falls down onto one knee. Okay, she's definitely feeling the effects of not only Dakota Kai, but of course, of that Money in the Bank ladder match as Shayna Baszler once again feels the boot of Dakota Kai, this time to the leg as Dakota, there you see, connecting, launching herself into the corner with that forearm shot before launching off the middle turnbuckle into the frog splash, one, two, no, and again. And again, somehow Shayna Baszler kicks out. As Dakota Kai picks up Shayna with the forearm strike, and again. And now turns her around. What does she have in mind? Not too sure. Oh, Shayna Baszler counters, however, with the elbow shot. No, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. The Kira Fuda clutch. The Kira Fuda clutch by Shayna Baszler out of nowhere. She's taking her down here. She's taking her down here. Dakota Kai, she's got nowhere to go. She's got nowhere to go. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, wait. Rolls through. One, two, three. And Dakota Kai does it. Dakota Kai. Defeating the weak Shayna Baszler. Not that she's typically weak. Okay, Shayna Baszler, please don't come back to me after hearing that line. Uh, but either way, though, Dakota Kai rolls up Shayna Baszler. After dealing so much punishment towards her throughout this entire matchup, she finally got the job done. Dakota Kai finally gets the victory on Monday Night Raw. And the crowd are all standing as Shayna Baszler is down. Following that loss, and Dakota Kai leaving here tonight. And oh, wait a second, Shayna Baszler being met with the Raw Women's Champion, the woman she attacked before their match at the Money in the Bank pay per view. As Asuka and Shayna, of course, no strangers towards one another, battling for the Raw Women's title a few months back at the Backlash pay per view. However, Asuka moves out of the way of the kick. Or of, of the elbow, as now she's meeting Shayna Baszler with a few kicks there. That time to the side of the skull. And Asuka, the Raw Women's Champion, getting her revenge once again on Shayna Baszler. And Asuka, ladies and gentlemen, leaving here tonight with the upper hand in that rivalry. Well, there you have it, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly looking to go after the Raw Tag Team Champions. However, next week, it's going to be the other two members of the Undisputed Era in action as the United States Champion Adam Cole and Roderick Strong are set to take on Rey Mysterio and one half of the Lucha Dragons, Sin Cara. And speaking of Roderick Strong, it is our main event 
of the evening. Two men that are absolutely no strangers towards one another are going to be competing once again in our main event. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, is taking on Roderick Strong. Now, both AJ and Strong fought at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view inside the Money in the Bank ladder match. However, because of the actions of the rest of the Undisputed Era, AJ Styles did not enter the match until very late in the game. So, AJ is looking to get his revenge on the Undisputed Era tonight by defeating Roderick Strong. Okay, of course, I was mentioning it before. Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish attacking this man and SmackDown's Sheamus backstage. But in the end, AJ Styles and Sheamus did make an appearance in that Money in the Bank ladder match. Neither man 100% going into it. However, now these two men, AJ Styles and Roderick Strong, are looking to fight. Who, I can pretty much guarantee you, are both not 100% following the Money in the Bank ladder match. As Roderick Strong is set to take on AJ Styles. And what is set to be one hell of a main event. And here we go. Seems as though the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, the United States Champion, is also going to be accompanying Roderick Strong, just like how he did earlier on in the evening with Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Now, earlier on, as you just heard by Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, those two men defeated the Lucha Dragons. Well, right now, we're going to be seeing if Roderick Strong can replicate their success in singles competition against the Phenomenal One. Okay, now even though Roderick Strong was unsuccessful at Money in the Bank, Adam Cole, at least he won his match against Roman Reigns, retaining that U.S. title. Let's see if Roderick Strong can get a win in his own right in singles competition. Okay, now of course Roderick Strong, he was very close to winning the Money in the Bank ladder match. Okay, he was so close to winning. Okay, grabbing the briefcase, about to tear it down. However, it was because of Styles and Sheamus making their way into the match late in the game. That's what cost Roderick Strong his chance to bring down the briefcase. And right now, he's looking to bring some fight towards the phenomenal one. It's AJ Styles and Roderick Strong, their main events in the show, and here we go. These two men can main events, even WrestleMania, but you're getting it right now on Monday Night Raw. As here we go, the combination by Roderick Strong. However, AJ Styles have that well scouted, catching him into the neck breaker there. As AJ, the phenomenal one, with the kick to the back of the head, picking up Roddy Strong. However, Strong reverses, throws him across the ring but gets met with no one as AJ Styles meets him with the clothesline in the corner. And now here we go, Roderick Strong looking to put that strength on display with a running belly to belly, but it's AJ Styles who gets the upper hand very back and forth thus far, and AJ Styles now catching him with the kick to the back, and there you see Adam Cole, of course, playing a part in this one as some might predict as a cover one. Two, about to get the roll-up pin perhaps, but no. AJ Styles kicks out, and oh my god, he gets met with such a clothesline by Roderick Strong as AJ Styles, oh, meets him there with a drop kick. As I was just stating, very, very back and forth, we see these two men go, two of the very best in the past two decades as a kick to the stomach. However, gets countered by AJ Styles, but Styles now gets countered by Strong. As, oh, the Messiah of the Backbreaker, proven why that's his nickname with the Backbreaker of his own one. Two, no, and following a knee to the lower spine, he doesn't get the three count. Oh, however, he does get a chop in response by AJ Styles, but now it's Styles who gets responded with a kick by Roddy and now these two men so back and forth already in this one okay such interesting exchanges thus far here in our main of 
Spent! Oh, as Roderick Strong went to go for a cheap shot. AJ Styles counters with a Pele kick. And now Styles is fired up right now. Setting up that arm for something. Oh, but went to go. Change his mind. Looking to collide his feet to the chest and face of Roderick Strong. But he gets countered. Now both men getting countered right now with the chops of the chest. Now Roderick Strong having the advantage in this exchange. Goes for the kick. But now AJ Styles has the exchange. Oh. But now it's Roderick Strong. No, come on. Really scraping his head. Scraping his face across the top rope before dropping him down on his knee. One. Two. No, and only a two count again. The a phenomenal one. AJ Styles. Looking to continue the momentum right now. In this one. As Roderick Strong picks him up. Suplex perhaps. Connecting. And another cover. Roderick trying to get the quick win here too. No, and again only a two count. As AJ Styles rolls to the outside. However, he realizes Adam Cole is right there, so he decides to get up onto the apron. And oh, wait a second, Roderick. Roderick, oh god, no. Oh, making AJ Styles collide with that said apron. Oh my god. Roderick Strong making AJ Styles collide with it. His back must be in excruciating pain right now as Strong... Looks down at AJ once again, trying for the cover, middle of the ring. Two. No, and again, only a two count. But AJ Styles, as you just saw, barely getting the shoulder up. As Roderick Strong is thinking to himself, what do I do in order to defeat AJ Styles? Oh, as he slams him down face first into the mat. In our main event of the evening, Roderick Strong has the momentum built up on his side and the Undisputed Era looking real good tonight. Looking to, oh, finish off the show with a win for the Undisputed Era. It's Roger Strong, wait a second, getting caught, getting caught. Styles Clash, the Styles Clash and it's over. One, two, no, somehow Styles Clash out of nowhere doesn't get the job done. This crowd can't believe it, and neither can I, ladies and gentlemen. As AJ Styles, he's just standing there in complete disbelief, wondering what to do. He picks up Roderick Strong, throws him across the ring, ducks underneath, and then once again takes him down with that neck breaker. But now, there you see Roderick Strong rolling outside, rolling towards Adam Cole. His fellow Undisputed Era member deciding to take a breath as AJ Styles decides to oh taunt the crowd but realizes Roger Strong is right behind him. However, Roger Strong once again goes right behind AJ Styles before getting met with a chop to the chest this time once again by AJ Styles. What a brain buster to follow suit. Okay, the full weight of Roderick Strong coming down on the neck as AJ Styles with another neck breaker on Strong and... Wait a second, what the hell? Is that... T Tommaso Ciampa? Um, of course, both men were in that Money in the Bank ladder match. Not too sure what that's about, however... End of heartache by Roderick Strong out of nowhere. Taking advantage of the distraction. One, two, three, and it's, it's over. But what was that about? Tommaso Ciampa coming out here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm not not too sure what that's about, because we had a pretty tremendous matchup. Very, very back and forth indeed, but... But in the end, okay, AJ Styles get the Styles Clash. I thought it was going to be over there. There you see it. One, two, bam. But there was not a three count to follow suit with it. And then there you see Tommaso Ciampa at the top of the ramp, distracting AJ Styles before the end of heartache. The knees colliding with the back of Styles as the Undisputed Era finish off the night with a big victory. And there you see Ciampa staring down at AJ Styles. I'm not entirely sure what, what he's doing. However, we have to conclude the show. Thank you very much for watching.
and we'll see you next time. Hmm.